Hi, welcome back to another read. So I'm going to pull a oracle message for whoever needs it. Um, keep in mind that it is very, very extremely general. So I'm going to pull one card and then I'm going to clarify or get some more insight using the tarot cards. Okay, so we have have no fear showing up here and then we have open up to your spiritual gifts. Um, for some people that's watching this, it's like you could have spiritual gifts, right? But it's almost like maybe you're kind of afraid to open up to them. There could be a need to open up to spiritual gifts or even sometimes too, it's like sometimes people who have spiritual gifts and it's not for everybody, but it's almost like people could be like afraid of them. That's, but that's what I'm getting too. It's almost like there's like fear surrounding like people who have spiritual gifts or whatever the case is, but, um, have no fear. And it says, fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. So yeah, it's almost like you could be feeling some type of way. It's like maybe you, you could be thinking that um, people may think that you're like weird or like you're, I don't know, almost like you, and you know what, that term like witch, because you know, people like to use that like very loosely or whatever. Um, but it's, it's like they use it in a bad way. And it's almost like you could be afraid that um, people are going to be calling you some type of witch or something. That's what it seems like for some, like for whoever this is for. Yeah, it's like open up to your spiritual gifts if this is resonating with you. And I'm going to just read the card. It's card number 21. But it says, remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. So it's like you've been getting signs and synchronicities. Like, hey, it's time to open up or just like be yourself pretty much. It's like if you want to walk around with a witch hat on, do it. That's what it seems like. I don't know who that's for, but yeah, that's what it's giving. I'm going to just clarify real quick. I said I was going to pull one card. And, you know, people that use that term like witch, it's like if they see somebody pulling tarot cards or whatever, or using like a, um, what's that thing? It's like a pendulum or whatever. It's like they automatically think the person's a witch or doing something bad. But nine times out of 10, the person's not living right. It's like they're not living in their true nature as well. So just keep that in mind. But let's see. Tell me about have no fear for the collective. Tell me about have no fear for the collective. So we got this nine of cups that's showing up here. So there's some type of wish fulfillment, like a dream come true, a lot of happiness and joy showing up here as well. But it's almost like there's fear surrounding, um, pretty much it's like you being happy. It's like doing whatever it is that you please to do. That's what it seems like. Or it could even be um, something that gives you some type of pleasure too. It's like maybe you could be wanting to indulge in something. That's what it seems like. So I'm not really sure. There could be like fear surrounding like pleasure or being pleased or whatever. We got the tower card coming out at the bottom of the deck. So there's some, there could be some type of unexpected joy or um, almost like a sense of pleasure that shows up like out of nowhere. That's what it seems like. But let's see what else comes out. Tell me more. I feel like someone's wanting some type of pleasure. But then it's like fear surrounding it. Tell me about having no fear for the collective. Why did it show up for them? So we got this eight of cups that came out. So the nine of cups showed up here first. Yeah, it's almost like there could be a need to move on here from a certain situation. Yeah, it's almost like whatever is keeping you, and I feel like this could be energetically um, with the wands, but it's almost like people around you could be trying to like hold you back from you um, enjoying some type of pleasure or like you chasing your dreams or like moving on. It's something that, that makes you happy. It could be like some type of wish fulfillment, but it could be like critics or people with their own opinion too. It's almost like if somebody wanted to eat like a whole big um, chocolate cake like by themselves, then it's almost like people could be saying like, oh, you know, you shouldn't be eating that. Or they say like, you know, you're going to get diabetes or whatever the case is. But it's like, no, if that's if that makes you happy, then just go ahead and do it pretty much. Now, I'm not telling nobody to do that, but that's like the example that I got. <laughs> Tell me more about Have No Fear for the Collective. Tell me about Have No Fear for the Collective. So we got this Three of Cups that came out. We got the Eight of Pentacles showing up here too. And for some of you guys, this could be something surrounding work or career. I feel like somebody is wanting to, something that makes you really, really happy. It could even be like someone getting into like candles or doing like, um, 
are like working with the moon or something. I feel like maybe someone's been doing something like by themselves or it's like maybe you do it when you're not around, you know, certain people like your close friends. I feel like someone's hiding their spirituality here and you could be needing to um, move towards or like walk away from those people here that I feel like you're going into like this new friend group or like a, your soul tribe. It's like they're embracing each other. It's like if you into this type of thing or this type of thing, it's like they're not going to be talking down on you or calling you crazy or saying that like um, something's evil, especially when you tap into like your spirituality or something. That's what it seems like. I feel like someone has some type of like interest in like possibly even like herbs or like candles or something or possibly even like spell work. That's what it seemed like. And yeah, it's like fear surrounding this. Let's see. Tell me more. And you know this um this is crazy that sh this is showing up in a read because I was on Instagram and I had seen this um guy, I guess he's like a preacher or something or a pastor. And you know what killed me? <laughs> and not even trying to be funny, but it's like he started talking about, oh, um, what he say? He was like making it to a joke pretty much, like talking about um giving offerings to something but basically he was like making a joke about you know um people using like sage or like crystals or something like that i forgot the um the person or whatever and people was in the comments agreeing with it but it's just like do whatever you want to do it's like forget what they saying okay but i just think that's really funny how you know those type of people um, judge people on what they do but it's like if the person has inner um, peace or you know if they happy doing it it's like why not let them do that stop judging them so let's see tell me about have no fear here for the collective tell me about have no fear for the collective so we have the King of Pentacles showing up here for a cups. I feel like someone's bored or discontent here. It's like they're unsatisfied in a certain situation here. It's like they're wanting to go after like their dreams or like things that make them happy. But it's almost like the environment is stuck. And I feel like whoever you could have in your energetic field, and it looks like it could be like a social group for somebody. It could even be like a romantic partner as well. Um, an earth sign, a masculine earth sign could be very significant, like Capricorn towards Virgo. But yeah, it's like they're needing to go towards things that make them happy or people who accept them for them. But it's like boredom, like they're bored. What what does this have no fear about for the collective? Why did it show up for them? What is the fear about? What's the fear about? We got this five of wands that came out. The fear could be surrounding like some type of drama, like chaos, conflict from what's showing up here. We got the four of wands. So yeah, it's almost like not really sure exactly what's going on, but it seems like energetically it's like other people that's like low vibrational with this five of wands. It's like they could be um, competing against each other or like pretty much just like bringing each other down. What's this about? What's the fear about for the collective? What's this about? So we got the Wheel of Fortune card showing up here. Um, so it looks like the fear is surrounding change. That's what it looks like. We got the Wheel of Fortune card coming out. For um, whoever is resonating with this, it's almost like the fear. You could have fear about taking a chance or like taking a risk as well about walking away from a certain situation or possibly even just like moving on but it does show it's like there's a lot of happiness and joy um showing up here and i do see some type of like support system as well with this three of cups it looks like someone could be like um reuniting or gathering some type of union with their um soul tribe that's what it seems like with this three of cups coming out and it's like you could be leaving this energy behind with this five of wands Clarify this Eight of Cups here. Why did the Eight of Cups clarify? Have no fear. Why did the Eight of Cups? Okay, so we got the Lover's card showing up here. We got the Cherry coming out at the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like the obstacle right now could just be fear. There could be a need to kind of like um, con um, 
to pretty much get back in control of your emotions here with the chariot. It could be the masculine. So not really sure if someone's connected to like a masculine earth sign, like Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I see Gemini energy too. We got fire sign and we got water sign energy. It could be any sign, honestly. And with the lover's card coming out here, it looks like someone could be like moving on or possibly walking away from a certain situation. But I feel like someone's moving on. Cause it's like the joy is the joy and wish fulfillment is like overriding this um five of wands type of energy to where it could be some type of internal conflict as well. So where um I feel like someone's expressing their fear out of like pretty much starting some type of drama or stirring up drama. Maybe they like to argue or something. I'm gonna ask for advice on this. Give me advice for whoever this read is for about this spread. So this actually came out in reverse, but it's almost like someone's not really embracing um, some type of uh, prayer that has been answered because we got pray from the heart. And I usually don't even read these type of cards like in reverse, but it definitely came out in, re in reverse. Um, 11, 11 could be very significant too. And I was actually going to use um, 11, 11 as like a thumbnail today, but yeah, embrace this magical moment. It says you are in a perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. It's all, it's almost like someone could be um kind of fighting in regards to um pretty much like embracing some type of magical moment. It's like a prayer has been answered, right? But it's almost like fear is holding someone back from really embracing and like accepting the prayer that has been answered or something. Or possibly even like walking into a new beginning, embracing some type of change here as well. Yeah, it's like something that someone prayed about. I'm going to just read this, but it says prayer really can move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. So yeah, I'm going to get one more. Clarify, have no fear for the collective. Clarify, have no fear. So we have deeper insights are in hand. And look, your prayers have been answered. So this confirmation, it's like a prayer has been answered. But it's like fear is really holding someone back from like really um, living in the prayer that they done, um, that, that, that has been answered, or like living in the miracle. But it says deeper insights are at hand. Um, it says your overall plan is good, but the details need work. Reflect before moving forward. So it's almost like maybe um, someone prayed about receiving some type of insight or clarity before they can move forward. But it's like fear is like really just holding them back from um, fully embracing some type of change. That's what it seems like. But yeah, I'm going to just end the read here. And thank you so much if you stayed this long or watched the whole video.